Welcome, 2017 Interbike. Um, we're at the Marin Bikes booth. We're going to show you the goods. So let's get to it. The first bike we're going to check out for the year is the 2017 Pine Mountain One. It's a 27.5 plus steel hardtail with 4130 tubing, a 141 QR boost dropout with an SLX 11 speed, and a RockShox Recon Silver RL4. It's paired with some Shimano disc brakes. It has rack mounts for touring, or if you just want to get out in the single track and blast some laps with your buddies. Beautiful price point, um, and it offers a lot of bang for the buck. We're super stoked on it. Some really sweet highlights of this bike um, include a nice Marin Forge two-piece crank with a 76 millimeter BCD, giving you the option to change out your ring. Super easy. It also features very small seat stays for great ride compliance, and uh, as well as some really ample tire clearance on 40 mil rims. So super rad plus experience. You get out in the woods and have a good time with your friends. And it won't break the bank at 1200, just around 1200 USD for this bad boy. The next bike we're going to jaw flap about is the Attack Trail 7. Uh, the Attack Trail has all new geometry for the alloy platforms this year. We increased the reach and gave it half a degree more slack head tube angle. This is the bike that our enduro athletes are racing on right now and actually just got two and three at the California Enduro Series race in Mammoth underneath uh, Evan G and Kyle Warner. Great feedback, it rides amazingly well. This is also the geometry that our EWS riders are running based out of the UK. This bike features all the rad things you would expect to see on a more high-end bike. 160 travel in the front, 150 in the back via, via the quad three suspension system from Marin. Dior 1x10, 11 speed drivetrain with 1142 cassette. 27 millimeter inner rim widths that are tubeless compatible out of the box. So it offers a huge amount of value for under three grand that you can really get on the trails and just huck it to flat and just kill it. We're stoked on it and you should be too. So some really amazing features out of the box on this bike. Um, like I said, we increased the reach on it. So medium went from about a 412 to a 440. Pretty long, longer than most. Not Mondraker long, but long enough to really get out there and kill it super hard. Nice long front center, but a short 435 mil chainstay. Gives you stability at speed, but very nimble bike when things get tight and nasty. We also go with a 55 millimeter stem on this bad boy and 780 mil bars on all models. So really a, a bike for the people, giving all the features you'd expect to see out of some upgrades and a custom build on a stock out of the box bike. And last but not least, the 2017 Marin Hawk Hill. This bike was built as an opening price point full suspension um, in theory, but when we went to the drawing paper, we're like, how can we make the most badass bike possible for the money? And that's what you have here. It uh, features all new multi-track suspension system. Um, it was mimicked in the kinematics after our Mount Vision ISO track suspension system, but a little more economically thought. Um, it's a four bar linkage with IGUS plane bearings in the back. It features a 430 chainstay length, a 67.5 degree head tube angle, all rolling on 120 mil travel with 27.5 inch wheels. It also features 27 millimeter inner rim widths, 60 mil stem on all models, as well as 780 mil bars out of the box. Also includes Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, a 1x10 Dior drivetrain with a clutch, 1142 cassette, as well as a 76 millimeter BCD, allows the rider to change it up and get the perfect gear ratio for them immediately. Another very, very cool feature in this bike is the closed 12 to 9 through axle system. We, we spec it and save some money with a 12 or a 135 by 9 hub but is extremely upgradable. In fact, that all you need to do is get a 12 by 142 through axle and a wheel, and you can convert that bike. And it's super rad because you can grow with the rider. So when you're on this bike, you're just gonna be like, bah, 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 bah. it's basically made for fun. It has internal uh, dropper post routing for the stealth dropper post when you see fit and you want to upgrade. It's got um, some really badass tubing that's more in line with the general aesthetics of the way Marin is trying to make our frames look these days. Sports a RockShox fork up front with an X-Fusion R02 Pro R rear shock with rebound damping. Offers a lot of value at an amazing price. And it, the rear suspension was specifically tuned to the damping of the rear shock to optimize the compression ratio. So it, it's got a nice ramp at the end so you won't blow through that 120. So it really rides like it has much more than 120 mils of travel. You should go get on one because this bike will blow your freaking mind straight up. We had a dealer ride it yesterday. He got off it and he was sad that he just spent $3,500 on a bike because this bad boy right here is retailing for $1,500 USD. Drop the mic. 
All right, well, thanks for stopping by. I'm Matt Sipes from Marin Bikes. That's a little preview into our 2017 line. Go and check us out on the web at www.marinbikes.com. Go check out your local dealer and get on a Marin today. You're going to get your mind blown.